I think uh, besides the connection with the REACH Ashland Youth Center, the other uh, really strategic uh, synergy that we have is that D-Cell, its very work is, is providing an entirely innovative way of looking at public safety. Um, and and D-Cell was created by the Alameda County Sheriff's Department as its nonprofit arm. Um, the Sheriff's Department serves the uh, Cherryland Ashland unincorporated area of Alameda County as its public safety agency. And uh, D-Cell was created about 10 years ago with the idea that strengthening the community would be the most effective way to combat crime and, and reduce recidivism because having a, a strong, vibrant community would create more opportunity for people to really have things work positively. And so um, what D-Cell has been doing, um, they, besides the sort of traditional activities that police activity leagues, which DSAL is part of in terms of a national network, is to have recreation programs. Um, so they have a soccer league, they have a basketball league, a boxing organization, and like the soccer league, for example, has brought out in its, even from the first season that it was in, about 1,200 participating youth, and then all their families that come to all the different matches and has created opportunities for members of the community to be the soccer advisory board to actually take over how the league is formed. Um, they've created jobs for referees to actually be trained and certified and then have ongoing jobs. So it's, it, that's an example of the kind of multi-level dimension of benefits that just these recreational activities have had. On top of that, uh, there, are all, there are other innovations. Uh, Dig Deep Farms is an urban farm that also started, uh, I believe, about seven years ago and is providing uh, many different benefits. Uh, there are several tracts of land that are being part, uh, planted with different um, types of vegetables and fruit, and jobs are being created for people coming out of the jail to have uh, good, well-paying, healthy jobs. That um, The food that is being produced is now being packaged as bags of healthy produce that get delivered throughout the area. Uh, the Alameda County, uh, as a county, has adopted this so that um, uh, Dig Deep has stations at different offices throughout the county to sell their, their ware. So it's become, and it's now growing into being a more of like a vertical food industry, um, which has lots of opportunity for jobs and for continuing to expand the distribution of healthy food. Mm -hmm. uh, they're also, the, the idea of D-Cell is to also demonstrate the importance of having public safety officers in the community. There are several deputies that are on the team at REACH who are now can communicate with the youth. They're out at all the different recreation activities so that the public safety people are seen as human beings who are resources and not as maybe typically seen as the police who are there in a more negative fashion. Mm -hmm. So this is weaving a thread of healthy community interaction that is really outstanding. And the idea that not only is the world as it could be here for the rite of passage, but also the opportunity to begin to permeate uh, in the public safety practices, the idea of human rights thinking that mm -hmm. can't help but be in it, add to the innovation that's already in place. So how does that play out for us? Can, can you talk about any examples of, of how that would work in a real life example of, of how people are approaching? Right. Well, I think um, I know that we had. Well, I think that the the D cell uh, mentality is already incorporating that idea mm -hmm. where um, uh, for, and one of the deputies 
Uh, he goes by Deputy J. His name is Jorge Ferreira. He developed, he wrote, and performs in a play called Cops and Robbers. And that has been, uh, has become an element of practices by the Sheriff's Department. They are actually encouraging Jay to use this performance as a way of creating symposiums in both the Bay Area, which they already had their first one of last fall, to bring together different entities in a community to see the play and understand the complexities of criminal situations. In this case, there's a police officer shooting and death of a perpetrator, and the way the play is presented, you see like approximately 17 different perspectives of what is around that incident. And that has been a forum for having much more in-depth discussion and, and collaboration among uh, different entities in the county as to how to work together to address the issues that are being shown. Um, that's just one innovative sign. I think that because the um, deputies have more interaction with the youth, there have been ex uh, descriptions of how in people now come to deputies and say, and actually explain problems they might be having um, perhaps in their home or with people that they're familiar with where they're actually getting help on dealing with domestic violence or other issues that in the past would never have been discussed with public safety officers. And uh, we had three members of the DSAL team take our institute last August and we feel like that's just a start to the beginnings of what we hope will be more threads of possibly direct training in the public safety world of what the Universal Declaration is about and why it is connected with uh, public safety practices and how important it is to be able to see people as human beings, uh, even under the worst of circumstances that have to be dealt with.